Superior Court of the State of California in and for the County of Kern. We are going to talk about summary judgments or summary adjudication or both and denying defendants motions for sanctions. Well, anyways, uh, basically we're going to talk about summary judgments like a balanced scale. You got to have facts on both sides for tribal issues for the jury. And the judge can uh, actually make a call, and this call he makes and tips it in front of the corporate Hitlers, of course. So the plaintiff basically says, hey, I got stop payment checks. They came after my accident, 8-16-2002, and on 9-20-2002 from Cedric, who's claiming that they are taking responsibility, a third-party administrator for Consolidated Freightways, liability and workers compensation policy well the problem here is that consolidated freightways had their self-insured industrial relations self-insured plan revoked so their certificate was revoked in 1996 so they were not self-insured and if they were then Cedric could be administrating funds for consolidated freightways they would go ahead and put up money like Cedric claims here and Cedric would go ahead and uh, disperse them. But instead, the corporate Hitler declares bankruptcy and I get some 23000 total for injuries when I have 300000 in medical bills and you're supposed to take one's wages. I was making 85000 a year plus my health and pension, which would have been about $7.8 million, into consideration. But no, not when they, they, they pull these little stunts. So... My attorney should have uh, subpoenaed the agent of service. You can't go to the P.O. box. you got to go to the agent of service. And they would not do that. I went to the state bar and said, hey, you know, what am I supposed to do? I'm, my hands are tied. My attorney's on record. I'm tired of firing them, and they won't do their jobs. And the state bar says, well, we're going to act like the fox protecting the hen house, and we're not going to do anything. Well, that doesn't do it. Same with USF&G. There's the um, uh, agent for service there. You can find that out probably through the California insurance commission and then the the defense simply says hey come on you know we got insurance look we're showing you a workers compensation policy we even have a signature the problem is it's not authenticated and an authenticated means they have to say I declare under penalty of perjury in the state of California blah 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 that uh, you know this policy is true and and they you know blah blah but instead USF and G writes me a letter says no guess what Laura April 1st 2001 we terminated the policy and Cedric took over, which is exactly what the memos say. From this period, 10-01, October 1st, 2001 to October 1st, 2002, of course it was terminated because we got the bounce checks. Remember, 8-16-2002 and 9-20. And Cedric's taking responsibility. So we know there's fraud going on. But anyways, so you put in a, a cause of action for fraud, right? But guess what? Here's the summary judgment. Here's the balance scale for the jury. Yet the judge tips the scale in favor of the defense counsel's lawyer siding with corporate corruption. Now the facts, I just told you mine. I had my facts here. And the defense is facts. And what happens on the balance scale is the judge weighs both sides of the evidence and he decides to go ahead and tip it for the defense now another reason he did this is because he says Laura you got knocked out in federal court but the problem with that ruling is there's a law rule 41 that says hey you can't bar me I'm not precluded just because I went to federal court we voluntarily dismissed it we also had a case filed in uh, state court and we're going to go with the state court. And the judge says, no, the, even though your attorney voluntarily dismissed it that same day, the judge dismissed it with prejudice. But hey, there's a Supreme Court law that says, no, you can go forward. And this Syntec versus Lockheed Martin, 2001, said, yeah, go ahead. Because you, you never had your case heard on the merits. And even though you appealed to the Ninth Circuit, doesn't matter. Because it was never heard, it wasn't uh, timely filed, and you won on your fifth appellate. They said, "Yeah, we agree with this uh, Rule 41," and uh, her case wasn't heard on the merits, and the judge prejudiced her. That's why she had to go to federal court and appeal after the second lift to stay in the bankruptcy. 
So anyways, that's the uh, summary judgment and the uh, balancing of facts. And uh, it's like a balanced scale. And this is something we need to write our Congress members and figure out a way how we're going to stop this. One is the state bar's got to do something, and these judges got to stop what they're doing, and they keep doing it, and they're not supposed to. If there's facts and they're triable, then you're supposed to go to a jury, and this is where they're blocking us. He's just saying, "Oh no, you don't, you don't have enough um, factual evidence." The hell I don't. It would have been one in my favor if you can get it to a jury, and that's why you want to get on these juries and grand juries to fry these corporate Hitlers, because. Uh, they're terrorizing the injured.